Grapes Hill, along with the Magdalen Street flyover, probably epitomises the wonderful circulating boulevard envisaged by Robert Atkinson in 1931. But of course, it hasn't always been like this, and we're going to look at the Grapes Hill of the past. Beginning at the bottom and working our way up to the current pedestrian bridge, which marks the end of the original Grapes Hill, we'll then look at what was lost with the extension of Grapes Hill as far as the roundabout. This is Grapes Hill from Deerham Road in the 1960s, and going back further, this is the same view in 1937. We've now gone just a few yards into Grapes Hill in 1965 and this is Mr Wright's confectioner's shop in 1939. Looking back down the hill, the road going off is West Pottergate, which is now only reached via an underpass below Grapes Hill. There was a pub on the corner of West Pot Pottergate called the Paul Pry which is a fictional name for an inquisitive person from a 19th century play. The pub ran from 1830 until 1967, and at the end of Pottergate, looking west, it would have been straight in front of you. Standing at the end of Pottergate and looking right, today we see Wellington Lane, but before all this development, this lower part of the parallel street was called Duck Lane. Back on Grapes Hill and heading towards the top on the left hand side you'd have seen these houses and if you'd asked nicely to visit their back gardens you'd see that they backed on to the city wall. Here are a few more shots of houses on Grapes Hill, these all from the 1930s and then we'll conclude this little section with some general views looking down the hill, these both from the 1960s. Demolition and redevelopment took place in the early 1970s. Grapes Hill had previously ended more or less under the current pedestrian bridge, so the extension further up the current hill to the roundabout involved some significant changes to the road layout that I'll now attempt to explain. To do that, we'll use the Temple Bar Pub previously the tons as a constant feature on the landscape and the next photo is taken from beside the pub shown by the purple arrow towards the original top of Grapes Hill marked in orange. So the silver car would have been coming out of the original Grapes Hill junction. On the left of the junction was the Grapes Hotel seen here in 1937 and here after it had been replaced following a fire in 1942. The hill is named after the hotel having previously been called St Giles Hill. This was the view on the other side of the Grapes Hill junction all demolished to support the widening. with this being an overall view of the original junction. Back to the Temple Bar, or Tuns now, shown on this map in blue, we're going to look at the Convent in green, the Volunteer Stores pub in yellow, and the Drill Hall in purple, all demolished to extend Grapes Hill and create today's roundabout. So here I am standing bravely in the middle of Grapes Hill to recreate this 1964 image of the Tuns, which we can see here in the background with the Little Sisters Convent in the foreground. On the junction of Chapelfield Road and Chapelfield North was the Volunteer Stores pub, which existed from 1867 to 1969. The drill hall, which opened in 1866, included in its design a tower from the city wall, the site of which is marked by a line of stones on the roundabout. This is Grapes Hill seen from the top of the Roman Catholic Cathedral in 1978, and I hope I've explained the road's development fairly well. Thanks for watching, 